Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 27 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So this is going to be a short tutorial and I'm going to be discussing the empty set, otherwise known as the null set. So it's a really simple concept and it basically looks like this. You just have an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace and inside of your set you don't have any elements. And basically we can rewrite this as a zero with a dash through it. So you're probably thinking, why, why do we even take the time to point this out? Well, sometimes when we're taking the intersection of two sets, for example, we might have this as our answer, so I just wanted to point it out to you so that you know what it means. So let's just do a really quick example so that the point sinks in here. Let's say that we have some set A, and A contains the elements 1, 3, 5, and 7. And then we have some set B, and we'll just say that B contains the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. So let's say that we were asked to find the intersection of A and B. So now remember the intersection, we're comparing all the elements in A, and we're comparing them with all the elements in B, and any elements that exist in both A and B we write inside of our set that's denoted by the intersection A and B. So it turns out that none of the elements in A exist in B, and none of the elements in B exist in the set A. So it turns out that there's nothing in common, so we simply write just some brackets with nothing in them, or we just write the zero with the slash. So basically this tells us that we've compared all of the elements in A with all of the elements in B, and that set A and set B have no elements in common. So it's a really simple concept, but I thought it would be important to let you guys know about this so that you knew what this meant if you saw it in any of your classes. So anyway, stay tuned for some more lessons in the Intermediate Algebra series. You guys have a great day, and uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.